here, here, search here, search here, Google this, go check this Facebook group. Just, you have, it's like there's not one place anywhere where you can find kind of all this information in one place, or if it is, the information is not updated. So, here you go. This is what it is. I'm making this video because I was like, I'm making it not only for myself, but for y'all, so. Hey everyone, welcome back to Nomad Peeps TV. It's your girl Peach, AKA Peachy, AKA Lisa. Welcome back to the channel. Okay, first off, let me start by saying I'm so excited about this video I've been recording. I have been working on this video literally all week long and, and I've been doing a lot of shopping. Now, I know that sounds so horrible, but I've been doing it for you. Korea is known as a shopper's paradise, but if you are someone that is pretty much anyone above the size, a size eight, I wanna say, maybe even a size 10, then it can really become struggle city when it comes to trying to enjoy the shopping that everyone comes to Korea to enjoy, that everyone loves all the wonderful brands. If you got hips, if you got ass, if you got tits, like it's just a struggle out here. But I decided to challenge myself and try to find some Korean brands and go out and see like what is really available when it comes to actually going out and shopping, not just ordering online. Ordering online, it's one of the beauties of you know the modern world, being able to just go online, sit in your pajamas, whatever, and just order things. But even in Korea, ordering online can kind of be a bit of a hassle. And if you are are someone that is plus size you know exactly the struggle that I'm talking about now I know some people say there's H&M Uniqlo Zara but to be honest the following brands what you're going to be seeing in this video it has really nothing to do with the fat the major fast fashion brands and like all of those brands are available online most of them do carry, I don't know about Uniqlo, I know H&M has a plus size section, but I just wanted to focus on being able to find places here in Korea that you can just walk into, shop, and come out. That's what this video is about. It's a 2019 update. Um, if you search on online, if you search on YouTube, you will find some videos. There have been some amazing videos put out on YouTube as far as plus size shopping goes, being curvy, being fat, voluptuous, was big and beautiful however we want to say it but there hasn't been an update I feel so that's why I wanted to add that and hopefully you guys will enjoy this video because I'm doing it for us for the big girls out there because you know we like to look good too and I don't know someone hasn't gotten the memo or they don't understand that women above a size 10 would like to look good we want to go out we want to be dressed very nicely very fashionably and so so, um, yeah, let's just get into this video. Now, when it comes to plus size or big size as it's called, most people know that Itaewon is the place to go. Um, it's the place where, you know, if there's any foreigners, if any foreigners are trying to find clothes that will fit them properly, Itaewon's the place to go. And you will see plenty of places along the main street in Itaewon that say big size. Um, and, you know, there's plenty of things there to be found but in my opinion, they're not going to be found very cheaply. The number one plus size store that's pretty much known among like, you know, the plus size community, if you want to call that, is OKTB in Itaewon. Now, I've been there a couple of times and I've actually have found a lot of really cute items there. Um, it's most, it's only for women, not for men, unfortunately. Um, and the staff, they are so sweet. They are wonderful, really cool, very helpful. And you can find everything, pants, skirts, 
shorts, jeans, um, you know, what else can you find? Even underwear, bras. Uh, my only thing with that place is that I find some of the clothes when it comes to like things being on trend, they don't tend to be on trend. If you are looking for basics, that's the place to go. I found some pants for work there. I found a very cute coat. You guys have probably seen it. If you follow me on Instagram, it's a little black and white check coat. I love that coat. I found that there. I got it for, I believe like 50 bucks. I found a couple of pairs of shoes there. That's also the place to go if you are, if you are the part of the big foot sisterhood and you wear like rock a size 11 like I do size 10 because that's a, a whole nother struggle and I don't even know that might be a whole nother video okay TV is the place to go and it's very easily accessible and sold the only other thing I would say about okay TV is that for me when it comes to pants I've had a very difficult time finding something there I have found one pair of black pants that I wear usually when I'm teaching and they fit perfectly really cute kind of like ankle grazers um, but just in general when like things like jeans I don't usually go there um, maybe some other people have had luck there but for me it's kind of still a no-go there for the pants just overall speaking again in my opinion um, if you're again if you're looking for something a little bit more on, on trend or something that won't make you feel like you know make like a mom like feel uh, you really gotta look you just gotta really like sift through all of the clothes there to try to find something if you're not you know that's all I will say about that. So yes in Itaewon okay TV that's your first brick and mortar option. The second place that I've heard about, and this is from the Plus Size and Beautiful in Korea Facebook group. If you have not heard of that group and you are coming to Korea either to teach, to live, even just to travel, I highly recommend joining this group it's a wonderful community on Facebook full of awesome women it's very supportive you can find anything you need as far as like questions that have to do with clothing shopping things like chub rub like every single topic you could think of um, it's a really cool community of women so I would definitely shout out to you ladies hey I would definitely rec recommend joining this group it's been the biggest lifesaver for me as far as like finding recommendations uh, clothing just you know the things that you wouldn't even know where else to go when it comes to topics of like being plus size in Korea. There's a, a brand called Lady Plus. I've heard of this brand for quite some time just being in the plus size and beautiful group in Facebook and have always heard it but heard it being recommended. Um, so I decided to go find it, to go check it out. Now, I know they have multiple locations. The location that I went to, I originally attempted to go in Suwon, but I was told that there was one in Seoul along the Mia Sigori line, that was line four. And so I went one day not too long ago with my mom, found it and it's a really big location it's right near the exit four station on line four you just have to walk straight go straight past the emar on the right hand side and you will find it and it is their outlet location now lady plus has sizes up to a 5xl i believe and a 5xl i guess in u.s sizes so if you are anywhere between i would say a size 10 on up to size 24 you most likely will be able to find something for yourself they had some cute pieces including this jacket or this hoodie that i am wearing right now i got from there the prices are a little bit on the deep side although you can find some good deals um, when I was there they had 20% off certain items so I mean again if you can catch a sale there I think it's pretty good overall if you need something like right away and you don't want to wait to order online I really do feel like that's the place to go um, again they also have a location in Suwon 
The one thing I will say when it comes to their jeans, I noticed a lot of their jeans had kind of like elastic waist, which are good, but then at the same time, the cut was a little bit weird. So I remember I tried on a pair of jeans and I felt like the crotch still felt a little bit low from where my actual crotch was. So the cuts are still a little bit off. I mean, I guess, again, it's being marketed towards Korean women, so there's that but um if you're looking for really cute dresses basics shirts hoodies even activewear really cute coats overcoats that's definitely the place to go i highly recommend it I went to Suwon last Friday and I was on the hunt for Lady Plus, which I was running out of time. Again, my mother's visiting, so we were together um, when we were trying to find this place, trying to find the Lady Plus in Suwon, and it wasn't anywhere near Suwon Station. And we had had a long day of shopping, so we didn't end up going there. But I found a place called Market A, a market i'm not sure which one it is but in the building it said market a this was a pleasant surprise because we were walking around we got there early it was around like 10 10 30 and they were just opening up went in and um i came away with some gems y'all like i really kind of like found some really cool places if you are coming to suwon you leave suwon station i believe it's exit seven um and if you walk out of exit seven it's the main kind of thoroughway where there's like the re a lot of restaurants cute little accessory shops um a red brick building um i'm going to leave all the information for all the places i'm talking about in this video plus other places that weren't mentioned um in the description box below so definitely keep a lookout for that anyway market a went in very cute very stylish a lot of nice sweaters cute little earrings cute bags now i will say that a lot of the things were the notorious free size and for all anyone that doesn't know free size usually means kind of like a one size fit all but in korea free size is not really a free size it, i mean you're if you're a medium you're lucky if you can fit but because there's such a trend like the oversized trend is very big here in korea a lot of the things fit me just fine i found like a really cute sweater i found like kind of like a corduroy material like um like shift dress that can be you know worn over like turtlenecks something that could take me in from like right now in the winter time probably all the way into the springtime um and fit very well i'm not really a busty person so like i just was able to fit that but I found some really cool gems and even the skirts. I found a really beautiful skirt with the like stretchy material. So um, I would definitely, I, and by the way, just to put that out there, I'm a size a US 18, UK 20. Sometimes I can fit also US 16. If there are things that are oversized, I can fit because I'm pretty kind of like, I'm not too curvaceous. I'm pretty kind of like proportion. So it makes it I guess I can kind of fit some things that aren't necessarily like my size um so yeah this place was definitely I think it's definitely worth if you if there's anyone plus size definitely check out this place market a in Suwon if you're ever there go have a look because um you will probably find something if not any skirts or pants definitely sweaters and tops it's a really cute place Last but not least, the last brick and mortar place that I'm going to mention is Romy Story. I um, decided to check this out because again, I had heard a lot about this place that apparently it carried sizes up to a US 18. So I found out that there was one in the Latte department store in Suwon. Um, so I went back and you know, I was just going telling myself, okay, if I find something and something fits, I'm just going to buy one thing. 100,000 won later, I would like walked up out of there with like four items and I had to pull myself away because like, you know, I gotta try to make it to the next payday. Okay, Romy story, now this one is, I know I've been, 
I know I've been mentioning a lot of places and most of them are in Seoul um, but this place Rami story is if you if you have a latte department store I believe that there is a Rami story um, in there um, and for example I think they have location in Hongdae, Myeongdong, Weijinbu, Suwon, uh, Bundang, Busan, Goro, Daejeon, Daegu and Daegu so like this place is in pretty much every major city in South Korea so I went to check it out and it was so nice um, I found a dress I think I found a really cute dress shirt what else did I find of course I, there were some things I tried that my you know I was trying on and my hips was like screw screw just was not having it <laughs> so but like when it comes to like the dresses again tops I came away with some like really really cute stuff um so I would definitely recommend Romy Story their sizing is interesting it looks like they go to like a size one two and three and when I was looking at my um the tag on one of the dresses I tried on the size two it says that it it's an equivalent to like a US extra large and like or two or excuse me the size two is like a 2x 3x or something like that so of course those proportions need to be taken with a grain of salt all I know is like they fit me very well it was very flattering I found a really cute even black dress like lacy dress shirt um, really really cute stuff again on trend stuff I highly 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 recommend it I would say though, just in general, my recommend, overall recommendation would be if you are coming to Korea, you wanna shop, try things on. Even if you're not sure if they won't fit, you gotta just try because that's how you'll be pleasantly surprised. Um, I kind of feel like a lot of people I know in the past have been I'm I have been this way reluctant to try things on because you just automatically think oh it's just not going to fit you still got to get out there and try things on I would definitely recommend that and in the description box all the places that I mentioned in this video I'm going to have the descriptions online website listed all the information where directions how to get there it's all going to be down in the description box so just double check i'm also going to have some other places that i didn't mention in the video and i was not able to get to physically but have been recommended by other people um not just in seoul but in other places i hope this video was helpful i'm hoping that i'm adding my two cents to uh the plus size community here in um, korea the ladies because you know we deserve to be able to go out and shop and find things for ourselves just like anyone else whether you're a size 10 or a size 18 or all the way up to a size 24. I know it's not easy but you know I think just sharing information is what's going to help us to have like you know a better shopping experience. So anyway I'm going to wrap up this video. Please stay tuned for my next video because I'm going to be doing my first ever haul and again if any of you have any recommendations anything that I left out please leave it in the comment below because I want to share like just like there might be something I missed that you might have been to if you're someone living in Korea please leave a comment down below I would love for you to do that just for myself and for anybody else watching this video um, and if you are not subscribed you should probably do that like you should probably subscribe I'm just saying like you don't have to but it would be cool if you did and um yeah and hit the notification bell just so you can get that haul, the next haul video coming up. And as always, be happy, be healthy, be well, and I will catch you guys on the next video. And happy shopping. Happy shopping, happy shopping. There you go. <laughs>